User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at Ugtastic.com. Hi, it's Mike with Ugtastic. I'm at SCNA 2013 and I'm sitting down with Zach Shaw, who runs the Boston Software Craftsmanship Group. Zach, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. Uh, we've talked before, but uh, uh, it's been a while since we've been able to catch up. Uh, how how are you doing, and how's the uh, software craftsmanship in Boston? It's going. I'm doing good, <laughs> and uh, the group's doing great. Uh, we just had our three year anniversary. Wow, three years. Yeah, so three years, once a month, and it's you know kind of going steady and <laughs> and great. Um, let's see, new things that have happened. Yes, I uh, spent some time thinking about kind of what I always had a particular specific philosophy mm -hmm. of like the sort of events that were in and out and and I I was thinking you know in the last year or so about um, bringing more people in to facilitate because mm -hmm. I've been doing I've been doing all the facilitation um, for the last three years primarily and uh, sometimes I have other things to do right. or I don't have an idea um, and also to give other people experience because yeah. I was like it's important to me to you know I get so much value. I realized, I was like, boy, I'm like getting good at this. Like, right. you know, like I'm building up my skill at like facilitating these things. Like that's something I could, you know, spread around. Yeah, but three years is a long time to do something over and over and over again, especially with life events that come up and things like that. Yeah. So, um, so I was thinking about bringing other people in. And so I started, you know, at the end of our meetings asking folks like, hey, uh, who wants to do a session? people would be like, yeah, I want to do something. And I'd be like, what do you want to do? And they'd say some topic. And I'd be like, that doesn't fit, you know? Yeah. Or someone would say something, I'd be like, that does fit. And all of a sudden I was like, wow. Like there's some criteria I have that nobody else knows about that I think is important. And so I was like, I have to nail that a little better, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I started doing some work kind of thinking about that. And I was like, I, I, was like, I need a mission. Right. I need a mission statement. And so I realized that, you know, of the things that people were saying that fit in and fit out and didn't fit in uh, were about um, practice mm -hmm. and so the mission and improvement you know like I mean I think improvement's kind of a given mm -hmm. you know software craftsmanship we're trying to get better raise the bar right that's the theme of this conference I feel like this year um, so the mission statement I came up with to frame for people who wanted to propose things was improvement through practice um, so that's, that's the mission statement for Boston Software Craftsmanship. Yeah. And it sounds like that was a really important growth for you to realize that you had these ideas in your head, but you weren't maybe communicating them as well as it felt like. It did. It definitely felt like that. And um, so it was like a really important turning point for me. And, and, and I think, you know, I've gotten a little bit of feed, positive feedback. I've heard people kind of mention the mission statement and mm -hmm. like, and it's, I think it's like a really good framing. Right. You know, like, why? You know? Right, right. So that's like, it's been a big question I've been asking is myself. That, is that affected um, uh, new members? Maybe them having a better understanding of what to expect by coming to a group and say, oh yeah, that is a value proposition I would want to spend my afternoon, evening doing. I don't, I don't know for a fact. Um, mm -hmm. I do, it has definitely helped, um, frame the sessions that we're doing mm -hmm. and maybe yeah like uh it must give context it right. is context for the sessions um so um you know we had someone new i've had uh, mm -hmm. someone new present and and it was so much easier for me to explain what the expectations were because i kind of did the work and right. it was easier for them to accept it because they had seen a couple sessions and they kind of knew. They knew what the, they knew what the, the deal was. Yeah, exactly. So can you describe again how your meetings are, if I recall correctly, you, you did lots of uh, interactive sessions, right? Yeah, it's 100% interactive. Mm -hmm. There's no talking heads. I, um, that doesn't excite me mm -hmm. and I don't think that excites uh, the members who have shown up for the last three years because right. they like the interactive stuff. But um, yeah, it's all interaction. So we do, we'll have a discussion, um, or we'll do some hands-on coding, or we'll do some other kind of hands-on exercise. You know, it could be 
just like we did a modeling exercise. There was no code involved. It was right. just like, here's a problem. Come up with different models that right. solve it. Lots of lots of circles and arrows. Lots of circles and yeah. arrows. But sometimes it's good just to to step away from the keyboard and just think about the shape of the problem. Yeah, I think there's a lot more to being a good craftsman than the keyboard. Right. And uh, as far as the membership, um, has it has it expanded, contracted? Have you gone through any cycles that you you recall over the last uh, two three years? Um. It's been growing in the last, uh, I'd say, three months. I've noticed a, mm -hmm. a significant growth. It's always is that, been small. Has that been group. since the, uh, the mission statement? or I think the mission statement is about a year old okay. at this point. Or maybe it's nine months old. But it's, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I think a couple folks have kind of like um, switched jobs and they've mm -hmm done a good job of reaching out to people at their new companies and bringing them in. That, okay. I think, is like promotion. Right. I mean, it's like marketing. That's right. what's kind of raised the membership. But organic. It's, it yeah. isn't that you're, you're paying for. It's that somebody tells somebody. Yeah. Somebody brings somebody. It's yeah. So there's like a handful of people who have kind of um, grown more interest in, you know, being more involved and they've brought more people. Uh, are, are you looking at diversifying into any, are you, is Boston Software Craftsmanship involved with any of the local events um, or are you mostly focused on, on your monthly meetings? Uh, we're, we're not really involved in too many of the other user groups. We have two events. There's this Boston Software Craftsmanship group and then out of that there is a Code and Cocktails mm -hmm. event um, which uh, Mark Simpson, who's no longer in Boston, <laughs> uh, uh, created, and um, so that's kind of, it's interesting, that gets a different slice of people. Right. Um, but it's out of the same kind of, it's out of the same group of people. Just, you know, a little aside about Boston, uh, excuse me, about the Code and Cocktails, it, it's, it's something, it's always uh, interesting to see a, a community grow past its founder, uh, mm. to see, you know, the, the founder either steps away, or moves or whatever happens, but the community, once it's established and fostered and properly nurtured to a certain point, can become a self-sustaining, self-propagating entity. Yeah. In that it can, it can live beyond. So it's kind of like if you, if you work hard enough, it's just like raising a kid or a company, if you work hard enough, eventually it just kind of can go. Yeah, I, I think so. And, and is that where you feel like, not that you're looking to step away, but that you're trying to get it, uh, Boston Software Craftsmanship, to a point where it can kind of maybe operate without you having to push the buttons every every month? Yeah, I'm I'm definitely thinking about that. <laughs> is, it, yeah, is it has it been hard? I mean, have there have there been days where you question about whether or not you want to keep it keep it going just because? No, no, I I don't. That that's not like a concern I like it so much yeah. it's like you know it's like a really smart interested group of people and it's really fun atmosphere so I don't want to stop oh no, no. You. like I'm not I'm not I don't I'm not like sick of it or anything mm -hmm. like that you know it's um uh I think it's like I want to help people get better, and mm -hmm. one of the ways to help people get better is to help them become better facilitators and leaders, and so I want to give some of that opportunity that I've kind of hoarded with myself yeah, to yeah. other people. You know, it's... Well, I mean, it, it might be fun to be able to go to a session and just learn. Just, it, it is, yeah, because yeah, I don't, I haven't got that opportunity much. Yeah, you don't have to years. go in and be like, oh, is the food ready? Uh, you know, did, did everybody show up? Is there somebody locked out? Yeah. Um, not that that happened to Gary Bernhardt. I mean, at a conference, you know, yeah. when somebody got locked out yeah. right before their talk. Um, so, uh, you know, it it seems like the group is is growing and you're growing with it, and that's that's really exciting to hear that somebody who's started a community is still three years on, still excited, and enthusiastic about what they're doing, and trying to figure out new ways to even approach. Yeah, it's it feels great. Um, you know, I think in the last four months, I will have only facilitated one session. 
Yeah. So it's like really cool. Yeah, you get to go and just kind of enjoy what you, what you started. Yeah. Um, reap what you sow. They reap say. what I sow. Yeah, I've um, I've started. I try and keep like my the expectations mm-hmm. of the facilitators low. Right. Which is like I think fun for everybody. It was interesting. Like, yeah. but so I did this session on trampolining. Like mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about trampolining. I was like, we're no one know, here knows anything about trampolining. And, I'm gonna act like I know what you're talking about. All right. There's there's different contexts, but I'm not sure the context you're speaking of. So I was thinking about trampolining as a uh, way, as a technique in, like I first heard about enclosure, I know there's this, mm-hmm. I knew there's this function trampoline and I didn't understand it and I understand why it was important. Mm-hmm. Nobody in the group did. So I was like, all right, here's a programming concept. Yeah, let's figure trampoline. it out. Let's figure it out. So I like set up the session and it's like, all of a sudden it like exploded into like, uh, you know, um, uh, tail recursion optimization and like oh, wow. I was like preparing all this stuff and I was like I don't really know a lot about this stuff and like I don't know how well prepared I am but I came in and I was like I was like this is all going to be confusing <laughs> yeah like this should not be to be bigger than I expected yeah but it was it was cool because I was like we're gonna figure it out together yeah. like I will I have all this material like I think you know we can do these things and like mm-hmm. it was fun because it was like my preparation was so like half baked. But it like somehow it like engaged everybody like immensely. Like that was the feedback. I asked them, I was like, how did this thing go? Like I was like really unprepared and they're like, it was awesome that you were unprepared because yeah. like we all had to work hard and be engaged. I was like, all right, that's so, weird strategy. <laughs> so was that was that part of what made you realize that maybe it was a little bit you were holding it a little bit too close and that letting people be a little bit more active and participant, uh, not just that they do the activity, but actually are part of the unknown. Mm, wait, what's your question? Well, that they got to be part of the creation of the content for the presentation. That it that instead of coming in with a, a baked, here's what we're going to do, here's the concept, and you already know it back to front, you come in and it's like, here's kind of an open-ended thing, let's do this together and then now they feel like they can come in and, and own part of the problem i think it helped me um frame the expectations for other people who are going to mm-hmm. present like that's kind of what i've been evolving like what are the expectations like if you came in and we're going to mm-hmm. facilitate the thing at boston software craftsmanship what are the expectations on you so mm-hmm. like my um thoughts on that have like Uh, been growing more sophisticated Mm -hmm. Um, and so um, you know I think it was kind of like an aha for me then that was like okay you know you don't need to be fully prepared Mm -hmm. and that's kind of awesome because it lowers the expectations you know because I think some people were like I don't want to present because I'm intimidated by the amount of work and the expectations Mm -hmm. like you have to like really run a great session you know and it's like no you don't have to ha- be so prepared because we'll all help you. Yeah, so you, it's not that you have to have all the answers, but you have to have a plan. Yeah, you have to have a plan and and like, like don't worry about how hard it is to prepare. Right. Like, just spend, you know, you know, six to 10 hours, you know, mm-hmm. like, if you can do that, then like, cool, like, we'll all support you mm-hmm. um, in, you know, helping you run the session right. basically yeah because at some point you have to have that first well it's yeah. not about the first no it's just like it, it's that you the expectation of the group mm-hmm. is that it doesn't need to be fleshed out mm-hmm. because we're going to have a great time and we're going to explore some concept no matter what mm-hmm. as long as you're able to like give us a framing like a general framing it doesn't have to be fleshed out it's not like you're not the guy who has all the answers. Mm-hmm. You know, you're just the person who's helping us move the conversation along. Right. Well, thank you very much right. for taking the time to sit down with me. I appreciate you're it. Welcome. And it's a Boston Software Craftsmanship. It's on Meetup, right? Uh, nope, no, not oh, Meetup. Meetup. Uh, Google Groups. Google Groups. You just Google Boston Software Craftsmanship Group and you'll find it. All right, great. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, Mike. All right. 
User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.